Ladies and gentlemen, standing in for Pop Daddy right now, Mr. Mason. What? Demo! testing the log lighter over in that far corner we're going to install the gas assist with this different from log lighter I might remove the log lighter so these pipes here go to this whole apparatus gets scooted that way a little bit and that gap gets closed up and the stove is leak free and works well too Uh, got the log lighter started up um, obviously uh, we got smoke leaking from the doors but it doesn't look like anything from those doodads the hookups so we're gonna get this thing up to temp and see what happens about the ugliest stacks but they work well let's see here see that valve right there it goes between the main chamber and the firebox I've got it totally shut this one over here the black one operates the opposite weight so it's actually totally open um, so I've got the right side totally open and the left side totally shut down and we have a temperature variance of looks like 260 degrees and uh, 275 or so and climbing. Right, there's my heat shields right there that I haven't installed on the unit. Um, I just for this test purposes I didn't want them. I wanted to see what the maximum temper temperature differential. We're into some good smoke now. Uh, I only have just a few little pieces of apple in there that are kind of rotted that I wouldn't want to put on a normal smoke. Uh, but we got some good coals going in there, and it's now time to dial down the natural aspiration. As you can see, I don't have my stoker installed. I'm going to put a baffle in the center here, but even without a baffle, we're at 300 on the right side and 275 on the left side. And we got the valve totally closed over here on this side and the valve totally wide open on this side. It operates the reverse way that the other one does. And from that change in air, I'm beginning to see a setting of temperatures. Alright, we're 20 minutes into the test and we've basically got a 25 uh, degree temperature variance and once again, like I said, there is no baffle in between these two. So that's just from differences in radiant heat. Now I'm going to swap it. So I'm going to close this side and open this side and see what happens. And 
and after about 10 minutes the reverse holds true haven't changed the main damper in any so all I've done is reverse and we've got uh, 325 and climbing over here on this side and just under 300 on this side so that's without a baffle I think this test is pretty secure the couplings are working quite well um, I'm very happy with this test